on this episode of Tesla Racing and Mods. That's not your typical Corolla that you see driving down the road, is it? <laughs> the most vicious Toyota Corolla you guys have ever seen, probably. My car is not gonna get any faster, no. but yours is. Oh, shucks. <laughs> this car might have something for us. What's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in and uh, joining us tonight. We are heading down to Bradenton, Florida, a quarter mile strip, Bradenton Raceway. They have an event tonight called um, Street Heap. It's a quarter mile uh, drag race tonight. You can see we are about four minutes from the drag strip right now. We're, we're coming in at 91, 92% and uh, it's 812. Yeah, it's a little cold though, uh, 59 degrees right now. Down in Florida, it's a little chilly, you know, mid-January. It's great for the cars, the combustion engine cars, but it's not as good for these electric cars. I don't anticipate I'm gonna have the best times. Any guys that run Teslas, you notice that they have this new this warning that comes onto the uh, screen now. I guess this, the camera up here watches your, your eyes. So, for example, when I'm on autopilot, like I am now, apply turning, whatever, but um, <laughs> I think I only have like one or two warnings left before it deactivates my uh, autopilot for a period of time. I think you get five warnings and then it takes your autopilot away from you for uh, uh, a week or two. If somebody knows the answer to that and is watching this video, definitely leave a comment below. Thanks for joining me and um, we're pulling up to the track here in two minutes. Let's see what they got over there. Hey everybody, you guys wouldn't believe what we've had to go through here. It is after 10 o'clock already. It's, uh, it's about 10 after 10. We have not gotten a single race yet. I am car number 152. Okay, 152 cars. I have no idea what's after this, but you can see the amount of cars that we have here. The things I do to get some content for you guys. So here's my Model 3 performance. It's lowered, staggered rims, and... Uh, we're finally gonna get our first race. We're in a massive line of cars. I have no idea uh, what we're gonna be racing, but let's uh, see when we get close to the starting line, what we're gonna be racing. All right, everybody, it is 10.15 at night. Oh my God, we literally sat out here and we literally waited two hours for this race. We're gonna race a uh, modified Mustang. There's a lot of Mustangs and Camaros. When you come to the drag strip, it's just inevitable. There's a lot of Mustangs and Camaros. Some are really modified, some are not modified at all. He's definitely set up for uh, for drag racing. Big slicks on the back. <laughs> this is definitely not a stock Mustang. So we're avoiding the water box right here. <laughs> Shucks. <laughs> this car might have something for us. This car definitely might have something for us. Let me shut off this heat. Make sure I get staged right. Fucking Zeus. Father of the Lexus. We're fully staged. Here we go. Good. Clean race. Clean race. And he spun out.
he spun out. And we're off. He totally lost traction. He's way back there, I tell you what. I don't know whether, I don't know if he even completed the race. I'm even wondering if he had problems. Did he blow his engine or something? God, he might have even blown his engine. I think he's still on the track. Oh man, I tell you what. I mean, I love my Tesla, but I have so much respect for some fast gas power cars. What we've driven for all these years. Oh yeah, the car is broken down. He broke down. I don't know what happened, but he's still on the strip. Our suspicions were correct. The car that we just raced broke down. That's a shame. I'm not a purist with electric, and but it's just nice and e it's easy to run on the track. And it's a shame when somebody breaks down and has engine problems because I'm sure that's not cheap. So uh, they didn't finish the race. But we ran 11.6 on that, 11.62 at 113.8 miles an hour. Our eighth mile stretch was a 7.3. I mean, it was a decent run. I mean, for the first run of the night, you know, it's cold out here. Right now it's 55 degrees out right now. I guess that's all relative because we're, you know, it's 55 degrees in Florida in the middle of January. <laughs> yeah, it's chilly for us. Here's a reason to subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna run this 2023 Model 3 Performance lowered, staggered setup against the most vicious Toyota Corolla you probably have ever seen before. It has a 350 in it with a cam in it, monster slick tires on it specifically set up for drag use it has a roll cage in there gutted this is not your typical uh toyota corolla and we're going to run it on a quarter mile strip out here right now that's not your typical corolla that you see driving down the road is it that is serious uh, look at that Guys, we got one serious Corolla here. It is running some monster drag slicks here. Look at that thing. <laughs> it sounds nasty. It has a roll cage inside of it. I mean, the inside is completely gutted. There is nothing stock about this thing. Super impressive. This is a drag car for sure. Guys, this is gonna be one really cool race here. This is the Toyota Corolla. It's nothing stock about it other than the outside of the thing. I mean, it's running a 350. It's just all engine, no exhaust. I mean, it's just open exhaust. It's loud, it's powerful, and we're gonna run it. This is a beast of a car running against my, my little electric car. <laughs> Two totally different kind of powers. You know what, that thing sounds amazing too. It doesn't even sound right to even say that. Like, to say that a, a Toyota Corolla sounds amazing. So I think we're going to need all the power we can get here. Um, I have 86% battery right now it's uh 10 55 p.m it's uh chilly it's uh 57 degrees out right now yeah it's mid-january it's kind of chilly for us here in florida <laughs> i know it's all relative certain parts of the country it's snowing tonight all right here we go they're they're waving us onto the track <laughs> <laughs> Never seen a Corolla do that. Let's see what this thing can do. All right, we want to get staged right. All right, we got our first set of bulbs right now. That means we're, we're pre-staged. So I'm waiting on him before I get to my final stage. I'm He's fully staged. Oh, it's Pro Tree.
<laughs> all right, all right. And we're off. I let off and it then, but uh, wow, that was cool. So I, <laughs> I gotta do a better job of uh, paying attention. I gotta pay attention to what kind of tree we're running. Um, for those of you that haven't been on the track, you have a, a sportsman tree and a pro tree. Sportsman tree, you, uh, <laughs> you, uh, it has the three lights and it goes one, two, three, and then it goes to the green. And I leave on the third yellow light. But on the pro tree, you don't have that. You don't have any warning. It's just all three lights and then a green. I know our reaction time is gonna be horrible. I mean, absolutely horrible. That was really cool though. I mean, you know, every so often you get to see a really cool car at the track. It's end of the night. You're not gonna get good traction here. That thing is cool. That, I really appreciate you running me because yes, all the way around, man. I'm Jim. Louis. Good to meet you, man. Yeah, you I hope again. to see you. The thing is, my car is not gonna get any faster. No. But yours is. I can see a rematch coming. <laughs> Thanks for the race. All right, guys, let's take a look at the numbers. On an eighth mile, I ran a 7.4 to his uh, 8.3 and then a uh, quarter mile I ran a uh, uh, 11.6 at 109 to his uh, 12.8 at 106 the reaction time I'm almost oh boy yeah see I had a 0. 0.61 <laughs> that's really bad uh, he had a 0. 0.58 so it's really that's also bad we had two really bad reaction times because I didn't expect a pro tree caught me off guard and I was sleeping it was a fun race hope you guys enjoyed that listen uh, subscribe I'm expecting a plaid here in just a couple weeks and I am gonna deck that plaid out there's so many things piling up at my house already I already have tons of parts we're gonna lower the car we're gonna put the rims on it we're gonna put ground effects we're gonna put a crazy LED lighting in it and uh, I'm gonna document everything and then uh, obviously we're gonna bring it out here and race some serious cars with that so uh, follow me love to uh, see you guys on these videos drop any comments if you have any questions or comments or anything so uh, see you guys on the next video have a good night